preschool friends. I am so happy to be back here doing this with you. I'm really sorry. Miss Joy was very under the weather all last week, but I'm back. And to start the day, let's do our good morning song. Ready? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. It's time to start our day. We're here to work and play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope every single one of you had a really, really nice Easter. I know it was different, but we still had such a good time. Well, do you know what day it is? Do I know what day it is? Does anyone know what day it is? Well, let's sing our days of the week song to figure this out. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Does anyone know what day was yesterday? Sunday, Monday, you're right. Yesterday was Monday. Now if yesterday was Monday, what day is today? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you're right. Let's say Tuesday three times, ready? Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Now, if yesterday was Monday, today's Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday. You're right. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Whew, we're just running through these weeks like nobody's business, huh? Holy moly. Well, let's see. For our shapes, we've done a circle. Yes. We've done what other ones? A rectangle. We've done a triangle and a square. You're right. We also did a square. Well today, you ready for this one? We're gonna do an oval. Now an oval kind of looks like a circle, but it's kind of shaped like an egg, huh? Or a football. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. So this here is my friend, Ollie Oval. And she says, I am Ollie Oval. A football shape is mine. Some people think I am an egg, but I think I look fine. We'll do it again, ready? I am Ollie Oval. A football shape is mine. Some people think that I'm an egg, but <laughs> I think I look fine. So this here is Ollie Oval. And I was trying to find some things around my house that look like Ollie, and I could only find a couple things. But let me show you what I got. I have a penguin here, looks like an oval, and even her white tummy looks like an oval. And if you look, her arms and her feet, they all look like ovals. Look at that. Now, I also have an egg. The Easter Bunny left eggs at my house. Can you believe that? This yellow egg I found outside in my yard. Who would have thought the Easter Bunny came to see me? It was really cool. I have a regular egg and we know Miss Joy loves to eat hard boiled eggs at snack time, don't I? So there's my egg. I have a whole bunch of them in my fridge. And then do you know what else I found? This blew my mind. My husband likes to eat chicken nuggets. This chicken nugget looks like an oval. I mean, there's dinosaur chicken nuggets, right? And oval chicken nuggets? Who would have known? I had this in my freezer. Every time my husband's gonna eat it now, I'm gonna tell him, you're eating an oval. Crazy, right? Well, those are the ovals that I found in my house. So if you can find an oval in your house, please send it to me. I wanna see 
all the different ovals that we can find around our house. We found many circles and squares, rectangles, triangles. Let's see all the different ovals that we can find. Because when you send me your pictures, I can't even believe all the different shapes that are in your house. It is crazy. Well, I have a story that I'm gonna read, but here's the thing. It's not about ovals. I don't have my book for ovals. I'm very sorry. But I found a book that you're going to love because you love Pete the cat and his four groovy buttons. His buttons are circles, right? Not ovals, but that's okay. We're gonna read this story anyway because it still talks about shapes. Pete the cat and his four groovy buttons. And when we get to the part that we'd like to sing, I want to hear you singing. Ready? Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. Oh, no! One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Can you count them? Because he had four. One, two, three. So if you have four buttons, and you take away one, you have three left. Three, and that's what it says. Four minus one equals three. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? You're right! One, two, two buttons. Two. Three minus one equals two. Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. Let me hear it. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. <gasps> what do you think's gonna happen? Oh no! Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One red button. Oh my goodness, let's see if we're right. One! Two minus one is one! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no! Buttons come and buttons go. You ready? Let's sing our song. My buttons, my buttons, my one groovy button. My button, my button, my one groovy button. Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? One minus one is... Let's see if we're right. Zero! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no, cause buttons come and buttons go. But he looked down at his buttonless shirt and what do you think he saw? What's there? His belly button. And he kept on singing his song. Ready? My button, my button, still have my belly button, my button. My button. Still have my belly button. I guess this simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing and smiling and having fun, right? Ugh, well, that's a silly book, isn't it? But 
it's a great one to read and have fun with. So my challenge for you is find an oval in your house, send it to me, draw me an oval, send it to me, whatever you want to do, send me a picture. I love getting your pictures and I miss every single one of you and I'll see you again. Okay guys? Bye guys.